One of the biggest takeaways coming out of the fight between Manny Pacquiao and Jordanis Ugas was that Pacquiao struggled to get into his range against the lengthy Ugas. And while this was true due to Ugas's beautiful distance control, there's one key detail we could see from many of Pacquiao's previous fights that makes the way the fight played out a lot more deeper than it appeared on the surface. Before I explain it, let's first take a look at this clip way back against Eric Morales. Manny Pacquiao is almost always smaller than his opponents. The conventional wisdom would be for the smaller fighter to get onto the inside to get the advantage over his longer opponent. However, one of the many reasons Pacquiao has been so successful against his larger opponents is because he does the exact opposite of this conventional wisdom. Instead, Pacquiao would stand just outside of his longer opponent's punching range, forcing them to reach so Pacquiao could counter them while they're overextended. Pacquiao would stand so far away from his own punching range, he might as well be in a different country, and it's through subtle feints, slips, and a lot of patience that has able to bait his longer opponents to negate their own reach advantage and get countered by Pacquiao as you see Eric Morales does here. And even against Floyd Mayweather who had a significant reach advantage, he maintains the distance outside of Mayweather's reach, forcing him to reach so that he could counter him over the top. Now what does this have to do with Ugas? You see with Ugas following the pattern of being longer than Pacquiao, you could see Pacquiao was attempting the same strategy of baiting from outside of his opponent's punching range. So we take a look at this again, you see Pacquiao steps back when Ugas steps forward, keeping that range. You notice he feints from far away, and you notice that Pacquiao will do head slips. All of this is to bait out a punch, and you notice that Ugas doesn't punch, giving Pacquiao something to counter. Ugas stays patient, and all of this patience from Ugas causes Pacquiao to become impatient and attack from outside of his punching range. As you see, he tries to attack at an angle and Ugas counters over the top. Here we're gonna see Pacquiao try to feint his left hand and then come up with a right jab. As you see the feint there and the jab, but it comes up obviously short since he's still outside of Ugas' range. And here once again, what we're gonna see is Pacquiao get become impatient. He's gonna try to reach for Ugas and Ugas easily counters over the top. The main takeaway is that there was more that happened in the fight than simply Ugas keeping Pacquiao out of range. While Ugas did do this with great lead hand control and leaning in to bait Pacquiao, the thing is Manny Pacquiao always strategically boxes from the outside and deliberately chose to do so here against Ugas. We saw a strategic chess match at a distance where both guys were feinting and baiting from the outside of punching range to try to get the other to commit. More often than not, Ugas was the one successfully baiting out Pacquiao, and more importantly, not biting on the feints from Pacquiao that have caused many other fighters before him to get countered. The way to beat Manny Pacquiao is to outsmart him, the same way he's outsmarted all of his opponents, and that's exactly what Ugas did. As always, thank you everybody for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and a comment down below. And special thanks to my patrons, Jason Mahinen and Grant Gabriel as the GOAT tier patrons. You guys keep the channel moving, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.